Okay, hello YouTube. Today I'm looking at reinforcing the A-frame drawbar on my enclosed toy hauler trailer. At the moment it's got, uh, well, basically this type of section on it now, which is 100mm by 50mm by 2.5mm. It's just black steel, so I'm reinforcing it with another um, strengthener that's uh, same dimensions but in Duragal. So first off <coughs> I measured it out two meters and I had my two lengths. I cut on a chamfered angle so the leading edge isn't um, sticking out and catching any uh, obstacles when we're off-road. So basically come down two centimeters down 13 centimeters and cut that wedge out. So I'll keep going with that, just using a little one mil disc on my grinder. So I'll get back to you when I'm done that. Okay, so I've grabbed my square from my first cut, draw that across straight. And then mark my next line, two centimeters out, 13 centimeters down, and I'll make that cut. Okay, so done my cuts, can pull off that section, now I just want to get rid of all of these burrs, because they'll rust up first, and we'll make it all nice and clean, and then we'll hit it straight up with our zinc protector, and then we're time to go stitch it to the trailer. Righto, so we've got our edges all nice and neat. No more burrs. We'll give that a little, a little drink of our zinc paint. Nice and quickly. Don't uh, leave it overnight. Or anything like that. So condensation can form and rust. Get straight in as soon as we cut it. <laughs> there we are. That's perfect. Hello YouTubers, so this is my trailer that I'm going to reinforce the drawbar of. So I bought the frame already made, probably a little bit light for what I end up using it for and I enclosed it, turned into a dirt bike toy haul trailer. But I think the drawbar is a little light so I'm going to reinforce that today. So, it's my fridge on the drawbar, but uh, see the drawbar is 75 by 50, a little bit light. So I'm going to put a, a structural member underneath that to support it. So, stay tuned. So first things first, I've removed the uh, jockey wheel. I'm now going to take the plug off the wiring, feed it all back through, so there's nothing that's going to get damaged when I build the drawer. Okay, I've got my support piece all cut ready to join my clamps to fix it up there and I'm now going to cut off the safety chains and then we'll mock up the new piece so that we can mark out areas to grind for it. Alright, so we've got the new structural piece just clamped up there at the front. A little bit light, light clamp at the back but you can see the flex I've got in my original drawbar. So, you can see the markings I've done up, so I know where to grind. So I can uh, have some clear patches of steel to weld on. Alrighty, so I'll take that off, grind up the paint, a little bit of gal off, and we'll start welding. Righto, I've got the whole uh, two sections cleaned up where I'm going to weld them together. So there's no paint or gal. I've clamped the front, and I'm going to anchor that with some welds. And then here's my jack as I move my way back and you can see that huge gap in the back. So there's quite a bit of flex happening there. So probably caught this just in time. Alrighty, so I'll do some weld at the front here. And then make my way back while I uh, use the jack to um, bring down this top section. Hopefully a little bit straighter. Okay, so I've welded the front, so it's all anchored. 
Now I'm just going to grab the jack and put that under and um, try and find the sweet spot where the drawbar will um, flex back down to match the new piece and then we'll weld that one. Alright, so I've jacked up the back. Still got a small gap there. We'll see if that'll close up while I weld along. So I'll stitch on both sides and make my way to the back and see how this gap goes at the end. Alrighty viewers, looks like we've got the last of the welds in, everything's looking very straight, it's a nice change from that big banana, give her a quick buff now with a wire brush and then some zinc paint, and then I'll do the other side. Right, there, folks, he's got a, a drink of zinc paint now, caps all closed up. Looking strong as an ox. Now I'll do the other side. Right, uh, YouTubers, I've finished doing the second structural member on the, this side. All welded up. Ready to give it a lick of zinc paint. Welded the chains back on. Now pull the plug back through the drawbar and it's ready to go. It's a lot more solid than it was before. Might be time to do yours.